In the last video, we talked about um, fixed width integers, and before that we talked about different sizes of integers, and I want to talk about one more thing before we start going into more of the fun parts of programming, and that is unsigned integers. And the only difference between an unsigned integer and a normal integer is that an unsigned integer can never be negative, it's only positive. And when we look at the binary representation, and I might make a video of this in the future, the sign bit takes up one of the bits that we can use to, to represent numbers, right? So it's the, it's the very first bit, and it takes up it takes up a bit, right? And so that takes up extra numbers that we could stuff in there. So if we never plan on having a negative number, we can just say that it's unsigned. We can say it doesn't have a sign, and say that it's always positive. And that gives us a little bit of extra wiggle room. So if we look at the range for a 16-bit integer, we get negative 32,768 to 32,767. Well, if we look at that same range for an unsigned 16-bit six, number, we get this, 0 to 65537. And the... the uh, equation to figure this out is pretty similar, but you'll notice up here, instead of having bit minus one, we just have the bit. So six, two to the 16 minus one equals this. And this is basically twice the size of this. So if we're only working with positive numbers, we might as well just use an unsigned value. Um, let's bring out a couple things just so we can see what the difference is here. So foo is percent d Foo. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did a couple tutorials ago, and we're going to add one. And we're going to see that this wraps around to a negative value. Be -do -be -do. Oh. It helps if you assign the value. That's okay. Programmers make mistakes, but luckily we often get to fix them. So here we go. So foo is equal to this negative value because it wrapped around back into the negative. Now the way we make an unsigned value, an unsigned integer, is we do unsigned, I'll talk about that in a second, unsigned int, and it's called bar. And let's let's do the same thing. Let's set it to the maximum value for an integer, and then bar equals bar plus one. For def bar is, and this is a little different, but we're gonna do percent u. And if you remember, we talked about that with size of, um, but we're going to come back to it now. And oops, behave. Okay, so u is just an unsigned int. That's all that means. So d is for a signed int, u is for an unsigned int. And let's let's run this and let's see what happens. So with foo. Foo is an int, and this is the maximum value for an int. When we added one, we overflowed, and we went into the negative, and we see that here. Here's the negative. Same thing here. Um, so we have bar. This is the maximum for a signed int. If we add one, well, it doesn't turn into negative because we have some extra space. So our extra space here, we can go all the way up to this number. So let's put that number in, and let's see what happens when we overflow an unsigned integer. All right, so this is the maximum value for an unsigned integer. What happens when we overflow that? And if it pauses, just hit enter, and it overflowed back to zero. So instead of wrapping around to a negative value, it wrapped around back to zero. And if we add, let's say, 15 to that, let's exit out of this, Boop. and hit play. All right, so it wrapped around and turned into 14. So the the first bit that wrapped around, or the first one value in here wrapped around to zero, and then there were 14 more of those, so it wrapped around that much more, it wrapped around 14 more, and so we get 14. So we get a little bit of extra space. And like I said, if you're only adding up positive numbers, there's no reason to have that negative sign, you might as well use an unsigned value. Just like with the integer, we can also have short versions of this, long versions, and long, long. Um, so if we want to do something like this, long, long, int bar, long, long is this long number here. All 
So we can store this massive number in a long, an unsigned long, long int. Okay. Now, if you remember back to, we also have to change the format specifier in our printf by putting the L's in there. So one L for each long, and this gives us a long, long unsigned value. And um, we'll add one just for now, just to show that it loops back around. And pause. So there we go. So see, maximum value, you add one, it loops back around. If we did 15, and we ran that. Ta -da. So it's the same thing as before. It wrapped around an extra 14 after hitting zero. And this is the the largest unsigned um, unsigned 64-bit number. And if you remember from the last video, we also talked about uh, fixed width types. There's also fixed width types for unsigned. And just like you have like int 32t, the way you make this unsigned is you just put a u. So now this is u int 32t. So I could just as well replace. Oh, I changed things. That's okay. Um, so. Let's pretend this is a u int 32. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Unsigned int foo. You. If I want to replace this unsigned int, since I know my computer is a 32 bit, I can just put u int 32 foo. And ta da, it's the same thing as an unsigned int for my computer, right? So this is the same thing as also an unsigned long, because an unsigned long is going to be 32 bits. So uh, unit 32 is equal to my int or a long int. And then likewise, you int 16t is equal to a short and a you int 64t equals a long, long int, right? And you can see just how many bits there are just by looking at this number. So if you're writing code um, and your professor or your project allows you to do it, I would highly suggest using this version. Use the, the fixed width types. And again, to do that, you need to include the standard int library in order to use those. And that's pretty much it I have that I have for this tutorial. In the next one, we're going to be going over while loops and getting into some fun things that you can do with while loops mixed, possibly mixed with uh, if statements. And, you know, we're going to have have a lot of fun. So I will see you there.